there, Caroline Herto here with Caster Concepts. I'm the community liaison and we are starting a new series to get to know our Caster Concepts employees. Today I'm here with Doug Backinger, our Director of Sales. So Doug, can you tell us about your time at Caster Concepts and what brought you here? Sure. So I've been with the company now 17 years. Wow. Yep, so I, I started as an intern in college. Um, kind of an interesting story about how I got started. So I'd, I'd never heard of Caster Concepts before. I was working at a local grocery store, getting ready to finish my sophomore year and was like, I think I'm done with the grocery store. Yeah. I'm ready to do something different. So I started sending my resume to every manufacturing company in Jackson. Mm -hmm. At the time, my dad was um, a truck driver for Conway, who Caster Concepts was one of the stops. He goes, oh, you should apply there. They have a really clean shop. So I did. Yeah. Um, you know, applied, didn't hear anything. And all of a sudden, a couple weeks later, I get an email from Bill. It's like, well, why don't you come in and, and interview? So I did, and I show up for the interview. And I'm going through all the different classes I've had and skills that I've learned. And I still remember, like, everything I listed off, you know, Bill or Andy Milam basically was like, yeah, we don't really do that here. Or, yeah, that doesn't really apply. And I'm like, oh, man, this is going great. <laughs> and uh, at the end of it, they were like, well, do you want a shot? And I'm like, okay, yeah. And I guess the rest is history. That's awesome. Such a unique way to get to manufacturing. And, and sometimes you just got to go out on a limb and take that chance. And I think that's one of the cool things about casters is they take a chance on a lot of things yep. when it makes sense. Yep. Um, and clearly it made sense long term for you. So 17 years later, here you are. Yep. Director of sales. Awesome. So what are some of your favorite things about Caster Concepts and your job? Oh, well, um, you know, I, I think people underestimate casters a lot. So they tend to see them on shopping carts or other things. And they're like, oh, well, that can't be that difficult. But once you get into it, it ends up being a very technical product and you end up working with kind of the who's who's list of manufacturers across the U.S., you know, figuring out better ways to help them make their products. So from that standpoint, you know, and even with an engineering background, you know, it's, it's very fulfilling to be able to, to do some of this stuff. That's great. I, I agree that Castors gives you an opportunity to be creative and solve some of those problems that maybe the rest of the society doesn't think about because yep. we're, we're used to things moving smoothly. Um, we know when a grocery store uh, wheel isn't working well, um, but if you think about that on a larger scale, what Caster Concepts sure. solves problems for. Think about um, a wheel carrying, you know, 20,000 pounds. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to, I imagine, for you to be able to solve some of those problems and help customers solve those problems too. Yeah, for sure. So more of the fun stuff. Um, when you're not at work, I know you spend a lot of time here, um, how do you fill your time? What excites you? What are some passions? Oh, well, what fills my time, so I have a five and a half year old daughter and a three and a half year old son. They'll keep you so busy. So they pretty much fulfill or fill all of my time, uh, which actually, it, it, they're, they're at really fun ages. Mm -hmm. So getting to interact with them and see them learn new things and experience things is, has been really fun. Um, I guess from a hobby standpoint, I, I love to play golf. Mm -hmm. So even if it's you know once a week, just getting out and playing, um, I, I just I like being outside, you know, seeing course designs, um, and you know, there's never really perfection in golf. So there's always you know the next level that you're trying to get to. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Any golfer I talk to, how'd you play today? Well, you know, could have been, been better. Always been better. Yeah, it, always it could been always better. be better um, on the golf course. And I imagine, are your kids curious about what dad does at work or could they care, sort of care less? Um, that's an interesting question because they ask me, but I, I think they're too young to understand. Mm -hmm. um, but they've both been in the shop and they've seen things working and I, you know, they're definitely intrigued by them. Yeah, it's fun for kids to sort of look at machines and figure out how they work. And I'm sure as a parent, it's fun to try to tear down the description of yeah. what some of our very sophisticated machines do and put it in words that a five-year-old can understand. Yep. So I, we're pretty much a family here at Casters, and so we, we know a lot about each other and our lives here at work. And 
and outside of work, but what's like one thing a coworker might not know about you or might be surprised to know about you? That's, that's a good question. Um, so I, I have hiked the Grand Canyon. Wow. And I've hiked to, you know, from the top rim of South Rim to the river and back in one day. Wow, that's, how long is that? It took us 16 hours. 16 hours, that's a, that's a full day. And it, I was much younger then, but even then, like, it, it was pretty strenuous. Yeah, that's a challenge. Yeah. Did you train for that? Did you, no. No? <laughs> Just <laughs> no. on a whim decided? Yep. Yeah, we knew we were going out there and we we're like, oh, this sounds interesting, let's try it. Mm -hmm. And I think about halfway through, we were like, this was a bad idea. But you had to finish but, it. Yeah, I mean, when, once you start, like, there's, once you get to the bottom, you got to get back up. Right, so. there's so, you got to get back somehow and yep. might as well finish finish the job. <laughs> wow, that is that is a surprising fact. It was, yep, it was dark when we started and it was dark when we stopped. I can imagine. Good weather, I hope. Yeah. For the most part. Well, so when we started, it was 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. When we got down to the river, it was 110. Wow. And then probably 50 degrees when we ended. Yeah. That is, uh, I imagine there's a lot more to that story. So we'll save that. <laughs> we'll save that for another day, but that's a that's an awesome fact. Um, and we'll end on a sweet note. What's your favorite candy or treat that you like to enjoy? Oh, definitely peanut butter cups. But Me not, too. but not like the normal peanut butter cups, either the eggs or the trees. Yes, Reese's because eggs the, and Reese's trees. like the trees. peanut butter to chocolate ratio is perfect. We have found something we have in common. Perfect. I love a time with, love Easter with peanut butter eggs and Christmas with peanut butter trees. Cause you're right, the, the chocolate and peanut butter ratio is much better than your standard peanut butter cup. How yep. do you feel about peanut butter M&Ms? Um, I like them better than regular M&Ms. Yes. That's my road trip staple, <laughs> peanut butter M&M's. Gotta have a package of peanut butter M&M's. Yeah, I always dad tax those, so. Yes, I'm looking forward to, in the future, sometime having a mom tax, <laughs> being able to take those peanut butter M&M's. Well, thanks so much, Doug, for your time today. Um, hopefully everyone got a chance to know Caster's a bit more. We're gonna continue these with more of our great staff here at Caster Concepts, and we'll see you soon.